Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers. Today, joined by Brits of Anomyces doing another UK beer. Yep. Um, this is a tiny ass can from a fairly new brewery, or what? Because I've never. Yeah, they are fairly yeah. new. From I think Manchester. They, yeah, they are quite talked about in the UK. Yeah, yeah. especially the the UK craft beer form talk a, a lot about Wonder Beyond. Yeah, so that's the name of the brewery, Wonder yep. Beyond. And this is this tiny 250 milliliter can. Look at that. That's kind of cute. Uh, is a can of their storm in a teacup, which is apparently one where people got really excited about. Mm. Wow, that sounded weird. It's apparently a beer people got really excited about. Um, and it's a 15% imperial breakfast stout, supposed to have flavors of coffee, chocolate, and hints of maple. Yeah, small maple sweetness. Yes. So I don't, it, we couldn't find out what it's actually brewed with, if it's no. those ingredients, but I'd imagine. Yeah. I mean, why else would they put it on the can? Yeah. Um, so pours out a black color. Yeah. Not like the darkest of blacks, but... Uh, but it is more or less. Yeah. It has a bit of and, like a bubbly... Yeah, and it was a bit fizzy pouring out. Yeah. But it was interesting because a lot of people told me went nuts over this. Especially in, uh, when it just came out, people yeah. went quite nuts about it, but it still has... Quite Good reviews. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's check out the aroma. Yeah, so yeah. what this... Maple and coffee. And coffee. Maple, yeah. It, the thing is... This just reminds me of all other pastry stouts, actually, smelling it Im immediately. It smells yeah. nice, but I'm not overexcited. And I can smell already that the base is going to be kind of like slightly fizzy. It's not oh, like maybe. super rich. It's it just, it always reminds me of all those things. It reminds me yeah. instantly of a beer where you think about flavor before you think about the base. Yeah. Not to be super critical or anything, but it's a lot of pastry stouts become this. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the uh, Amundsen dessert in a can. Yeah. Like those were nice when I had them years ago, but then you start having beers with proper bases, and then it's actually not that great pastry stuff. Hmm. It's a bit too fizzy style stuff. I just think of it. I'm just maybe being a bit hypercritical before having tasted yeah. it, but that's just my fears right now. But, but and I'm, it smells like that kind of maple flavoring type thing as well. Yeah, like this. Uh, uh, it, it is definitely yeah. maple flavoring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but but definitely and it has like a coconutty. Mm -hmm. yeah. thing to it um, vanilla and yeah but the um, thing is just this smells like slab a label on but, but from another brewery to me like and then their pastry stout and then another brewery and their pastry stout and mm. I'm being very critical but I, yeah I've, I've seen people I'm disappointed by the aroma because people they told me people were hyped about it but yeah. it, to me it just smells like especially for this beer being like on a 4.5 and untapped what the last month it came out? Okay. Well, the and aroma for me is not a four point one. A four point five. Right so. now it's like four point three eight. Uh, well, okay. We just smelled it. Let's actually try yeah. and taste it before yeah. being too much of yeah. like pretentious dickheads. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit thicker. Than I expected. Yeah, it's a bit more oily, but it's, it's not. But it's, it's a bit fizzy. fizzy. It's quite fizzy. It's got some astringent kind of like maltiness, and then to me, like all this flavor, the flavorings, it's just like a bit like a mess to me. It's just yeah. like all this mishmash of like it. It turns into more of a mishmash of generic pastry mm. than actually like ooh maple, ooh coffee, ooh vanilla. Right now it's yeah. just like it tastes like blended breakfast. Yeah. If yeah, it, like it, it makes right sense. Now. It's like the maple just kind of fades all mm -hmm. over the place into the, the coffee and chocolate kind of vanilla. It is nice tasting. Mm. I'll say that. And it, it's toward the sweet side, but I'm not. This tastes like any other whatever brewery's pastry style. I think. Yeah, and, and I really. That's one of the styles again. As I was so hyped about, but but when you start to trying trying the really really well made examples where you have like these crazy thick velvety base beers, paired with those yeah, flavors, just other flavors than adjuncts, or uh, yeah, as I a... just works so like special socks, the number one beer of last year. I would actually put that equal, I guess, kind of to the trillion one, but the uh, the Cuvée de Tetra, the eighteen vintage, but that was just like that's how the pastry stout was supposed to be. It was super thick. Mm. And velvety and lush, and you could taste all the different like ingredients. Yeah. It wasn't and, like and this that just tasted, tasted real. Yeah, and it, it wasn't just like this taste of extract. This mm. tastes like a taste of extract. Mm. That's my biggest beef with it. Mm. 
I'm not a big fan. I think it's a good beer, but it's like four, four and a half on Untapped. I think. Oh, it's it was great. originally, but like almost a four point four now. So, uh, it, that's too high. It reminds me of, like the the experience we had in the Christmas calendar with the Savisium Stout. Now, where it's like, yeah, I don't. I think this it's is not. Better. No, no, yeah, it's it's definitely better. But this is maybe this is more or less around the level that Savisium was previously yeah. when they brewed at yeah. Amundsen. Yeah. Uh, but it's, I don't know, th this kind of pastry stuff is just not as much for me anymore. And uh, generally it's just, it's too fizzy, it, it lacks body. Yeah. And the, the adjunct, the, the extract flavor just gets so much that you don't really taste much other than like sweet extract. Mm. Or yeah. sweet base with extract. Yeah. Right now, okay, I'm getting some coffee coming through actually mm. with some chocolate vibes, but it's just so extract heavy to me, like this yeah. maple extract. Yeah. And the base is not thick and complex enough to really take it. No, no. I would love if like the base had, it's like syrupy had like, like a like thick the... note, uh, thick notes of like dark chocolate and maybe like uh, uh, pipe tobacco mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Really robust kind of flavors to you know to have underneath the adjuncts. Yeah, um, hints of alcohol to it as well. Yeah, it's a fifteen. Yeah, stuff. yeah, and it has some astringent kind of sharp tart. Roasty malt flavor as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm swirling it around the mouth now. It's it's it is like it's syrup like it's yeah, but it's not like that like velvety soft like really nice creamy mouthfeel as we've had in other examples mm. of this. But that being said, I'm, it sounds like I'm really really shitting on it. I still think it's a nice beer. I still say it merits around like an eighty eight to ninety for me. Mm. But I'm not I don't want to go much higher. Mainly because it tastes like it it's too much for me of a mishmash of extract flavor. Yeah. And it's too fizzy as well. And all these critiques. Actually th this this beer reminds me a bit of and I'm very sorry Mike if you're watching. <laughs> it re it reminds me a bit of uh, Time Aid from from Levy. I just I wasn't had... a fan at all. It was Did just I like a no, it was just like a adjunct mess with like a thin Base. Fizzy base, no, just and then people rate it really highly because it smells amazing of yeah. like pure adjunct instead of beer. Yeah, uh, this is that one similar. was was worse than this. Okay, it tasted like pure sugar or something. And it's really but, palate fatiguing to drink. Hmm. This, I think, yeah, maybe a bit, yeah. But I, I don't think it's it's as bad as it's not bad at all. No, it's no, no. Taste, I mean, it 88 to 90, nice, it's a good beer, you know, but it's just yeah. like, for the hype that it has, it's overhyped. Yeah, I'll go 89. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a decent pastry style, but you style. can get much better pastry styles yeah. if you want to get that, but it's, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to check it out, I think you should check it out, but only if it's easy accessible. Uh, this is nothing I'd ever trade for. No, no. At all, no, no, even no. though people have hyped it, but... Yeah. It's, I guess it's because people get really lost in the aromas often as well. Mm. And also a lot of it is also frame of reference. If you yeah, have yeah. had like the best of the best, it's always hard, mm. you know, but yeah. that's always how it is. That's how you, when you, when we started drinking beers, we thought beers were amazing. Then you try them today and maybe they're not that great. It's an like educational process. Yeah. Uh, and I've been at it for 10 years. Learn. So. You just learn. But I think it's, it's still a decent beer. It's a good beer. It's worth a shot, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. Let's say it like that. So, but it's, yeah. give it yeah. a go if you want. To. Yeah. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Wander Beyond Storm in a Teacup, let us know what you thought of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Decent stuff. A little ramble on pastry stout. There you go. Uh, if you guys had it, let us know. As always, you need to come subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to play. Cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.